Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to explain how we can send notification to developer or admin team if at any point of time our Snowflake task fails. Okay, so task is nothing but as you know that used for scheduling SQL query or any stored procedure, right? Which I already covered in my previous video. So it's like if you are considering other scheduling tool like Airflow and Autosys, whenever you are scheduling using those kind of tools, then if the job fails, then to the support team or developer team or admin team, the notification should be sent so that they can come and monitor that why the job got failed, right? Now similarly, in case of Snowflake task, it is also a scheduler. So it might happen due to several reasons, the SQL query what the task is executing or the stored procedure what the task is executing that is failing. Okay. So if it fails due to any reason, the support team should be notified so that they can come then and there and then monitor why it failed. Otherwise, business might be getting impacted, right? So how to do that error notification setup in Snowflake? That's what I am going to discuss in today's video. So earlier I discussed that if suppose due to some reason Snowpy fails to load some data in our Snowflake table from S3 location, then how to send error notification? That same concept we will be using here. Using SNS, we will be sending that. So obviously, if the message reaches to SNS topic, then from there you can trigger Lambda or from that SNS topic directly, you can send message to any email channel or like that. Or maybe using lambda you can process that make it a proper structured format and then you can send it that depends on you but as of now what i will do i will set up the integration in between snowflake and sns and i will be subscribing a particular email address to that sns topic and as soon as some error will occur in the snowflake task one message will be published in that particular sns topic from that topic the message will be broadcasted to that email address whatever will be subscribing to that topic okay that's the whole pipeline what I am going to cover. So for that first what I will do, I will go to AWS Management Console and here I will go to Simple Notification Service and here I will be creating a SNS topic. Okay. So demo snowflake notify some name I have given then I here I will click to next step. As of now I am keeping it standard. So standard ensure at least one time message delivery. It might happen that for the same error more than one time also message might be delivered. But that is fine because just we are doing POC. So here we are keeping our name and then access policy here. I want everyone can publish, everyone can subscribe as of now. Later when you will move to production with this particular concept, you can fine tune the access and just provide that much access whatever required. Okay. So I'm not going to those details and then here what I will do, I will create the topic. Now the next step is we need to create a subscription. So here I want to basically send email. So endpoint here I will be putting my email endpoint. Okay. Here I will be taking my email address for this particular account and here I will paste that. Okay. And then here I will create the subscription. As soon as I am creating subscription, if you go to this particular SNS topic, here you will see that the status is showing pending confirmation and one mail will be coming in this particular account i will click on here and then here i will confirm the subscription okay so once we confirm that now if any message is coming in sns topic then it will be broadcasted to the subscriber okay that is our in this case that is the email address whatever we have kept here okay fine right now here what i will do we will basically go to aws management console in a new tab and we will be creating a policy which will grant access to publish messages in this SNS topic and then we will create a role for our Snowflake account. Okay. So here I will go to IAM and the policy I will be sharing in the description box or in the comment section. It is like this is the policy. Here in the resource here we need to paste the SNS ARN. Okay. So here SNS ARN is this one. I will be copying that and here I will be pasting. Now here I can copy this particular JSON and here I can go to IAM. I can go to policy and then here I can create a policy. Okay. So here choose a service. I'll be choosing SNS. And then here, if you want, you can specify using JSON instead of that drop down. Okay. So here I have pasted that and here I will go to next tags. And then here I will go to next review. Name I can give SNS policy snowflake notify okay 
so i'll be just keeping this is in our in my notepad okay and then here i will create the policy okay right cool up to this and now here what i will do i will be basically creating a im role which will be having this particular policy and that role will be using in our snowflake for sending the notifications okay so i will go to roles and then here i will create role okay for another aws account i want to create external id as of now i am keeping some zero values okay right so here i will go to next and then here what policy i want to grant that is this particular one so i will just search here okay this is the one i will select and then here i will go to next role name snowflake notify demo task okay here i will copy this one and then here i will paste that right and then here what i will do i will go to create role okay so here role it is getting created by that time we can go to snowflake and here first we can execute drop database if exists ramu so here i am basically using a ramu database i am creating a fresh database for this experiment purpose okay and then here i am creating the database again and here using that database here i am creating a table having name video demo and then here what i am doing here i am basically creating a notification integration this we did in our snowpipe with sns error handling also whenever any error occur in snowpipe then if we want to send notification using sns that time also we use this notification integration same thing will be here using here okay so here sns topic here and we need to provide so here i'll be copying that particular one and here i will paste that all these codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about the code okay so here sns role arn we need to put so here what is the role just now we created the role right that is basically this particular one i will copy that one and paste that here that is basically this one and then here role arn i'll be copying and then paste that right and here the notification integration name is notify me okay or maybe notify me one two three i am keeping right and then here i will create that so integration notify me one two three is created now here what i will do i will execute test prime notification because we need to update the role like we did earlier right so here what i will do i will go to the description and here external id we need to update i will copy that one i will go to my iam trust relationship i'll be going and here edit trust relationship in the external id i will paste the external id from snowflake and then here iam I am one I will be copying. I am insert ARN and that one I will be putting in the principal section because earlier I created just for my root account, but actually this will be used by Snowflake, right? So here we need to update that. So here we will update the policy and it is done. We are all set. Now here what I will do? I will create a Snowflake task. Okay. So see here how I I am creating the task. Create or replace task. Insert data notification. Maybe one two three. Okay. And here warehouse we are providing as compute wh because that is the only one which is available for our free trial. Obviously, in your account, if some other warehouse is available, you can use that based on your risk. Now here schedule is one minute interval. That is with each one minute interval, our this task will run. Okay, and then if some error occurred, then here it will be sending that particular error message to this notify me one two three this particular notification integration using that it will send to. Our SNS topic from SNS topic it will go to email and we will see in this particular email box that error will be coming. Okay, so what the task is doing? It is inserting data in video demo. It is just adding current current timestamp. Okay, because if you observe in the video demo, the other column ID is auto increment name. I am keeping default value demo YouTube. So only the last column create date we are basically adding using our task. Okay, list columns default values will add them right. So here I will create the task. Now here you can see it is done. Now here if I do show task, here you see that insert data notification one two three. There is this particular task. It is coming here. Currently as of now it is in suspended state because whenever we create task by default it is in suspended state. We need to resume that particular task, right? So here I will resume this particular task. Okay. So the task name I have given wrong. It is insert data one two three. So I will just uh, resume that. Okay. So here statements executed successfully. So now our task will start. Okay. If you want, you can query this particular task history to check whether it has ran or not. Like I, earlier also I discussed. So if you run, so here you can see query ID null. 
because just now I started or resumed my task, right? So after one minute only, it will be executing for the first time, right? So here next schedule time, it is showing perfectly. Query start time is null because currently the query itself is not started, okay? Right? So if I do see let's start from video demo, we are getting null value. Now let the task get executed at least two, three times. We will be getting two, three records automatically after two minutes, two more records will be inserted. And then what I will do, I will drop this table intentionally okay and once i drop this table and after the schedule time when the task will again try to insert the data in the video demo table it will not able to find this particular table right so obviously the task will throw exception or error as soon as it will throw error our expectation is in this particular configuration the error should be going to the sns from sns it should come to the mailbox okay as that is the simple approach what we are going to observe okay just artificially generating the error so if I just query my task history again, till now the query is not executed yet, just we have to wait a little bit because the interface is set as one minute. So after one minute of the uh, resume of task only, it will be executed for the first time. Then we will execute for one more insert and then we will do the drop activity, okay? So let's wait for some second. So here you can see the task is executed for the first time. Now it is set up for next time schedule, okay? So because it ran one time, so if I do select start from video demo, here we should see one record, okay? So here one record came, ID is one, because here if you observe the DDL of the table, here ID is auto increment, start value is one. So by default it is taking starting from one, name is demo, YouTube is the default value, and created date is basically current timestamp it inserted using the snowflake task, okay? Now it is scheduled for next time. So let's wait for one more entry and then I will drop this particular table. Okay. So let's see. So here currently it is scheduled for next run. So here query ID is now showing. Just we have to wait a little bit. So here you can see if I am executing this code again, here this time two query IDs we are getting. That means two times our task ran successfully the particular query what we have scheduled. So query ID third time it is showing null. That means it is ready for third time run so if i do see let's start from video demo here you can see two times the data got inserted okay and here it is showing the create create date okay right now here what i will do i will basically drop my table intentionally okay and as soon as if i drop my table then this particular task will try to insert the data it will fail because the video demo table itself does not exist okay so we will see that automatically notification going to our this particular uh, email address or not okay via sms so let's just execute this code again because when it is scheduled for third time and it will try to execute obviously it will fail and in the error code column and in the error message column we should should see that error okay and the same error should be propagated to our email okay and that's how we can confirm that our this particular notification integration is working right so here we need to wait a little bit so here you can see that the query id is coming and here it is for fourth time scheduled and here you can see the status is failed because we dropped the particular destination table so the task is failed and in the error message it is coming sql compilation error table video demo does not exist or not authorized okay so now let's go to our this particular email and refresh that here you will see from amazon one notification came and here you can see clearly the complete error, the query ID, task ID, timestamp, what is the message type, okay, everything it is displaying, right? And here in the error message also you can see SQL compilation error table video demo does not exist or not authorized, okay? Like this, from this particular upcoming any schedule onwards, the task will be continuously failing because we don't have the table even existing in our Snowflake account, right? So in the next schedule also, whatever it is scheduled that time also if i execute you will see that that is also failing and in uh, in our this particular email account another mail from aws will be coming okay that's how basically you can set up the notification integration for our task failure whenever a task get failed then then and there you can send the notification using email channel or maybe you can choose some other way to send the message like sms or basically 
um, some other notification way using AWS Lambda you can configure that is you can push the message to SNS using notification integration from SNS it will be triggering Lambda and using Lambda you can do whatever activity you want okay so like that you can build a pipeline and this is just like in Airflow or in Autosys we configured a email notification that as soon as our pipeline fails the developer or the support team should be notified the same approach in Snowflake also available for task because at the end of the day task is also nothing but an orchestration tool and at any stage there is a possibility of failure right so here this is the way so here i will show you one more run and then i will stop the process okay so to uh, stop this particular task here we can execute or alter task and here task name is insert data notify one two three that one we will basically suspend and then here we'll drop the task okay using this these two simple command we can close the task part okay right and then for cleanup activity you can delete the sns topic and subscription all this okay so that you can do i will not explain that cleanup part but uh, i will just show you one more run and i will show you one more mail is coming in our mailbox as part of error notification okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds so here you can see it is executed again and again it got failed and it is scheduled for next run so here also we are getting same error so if i go to my mail here another mail is coming and it is throwing the same mirror message that is video demo does not exist or not authorized right so i hope overall you understood the concept so one more thing you need to keep in your mind that is whenever you are creating this kind of notification integration between aws and your snowflake account then account admin role you need that is not a very less powerful role you can use uh, you have to ask your admin team to set up this kind of integration might be so that, that's all which you need to keep in your mind and I hope you understood the overall flow and what I will do now I will suspend this particular task so if I just do so task here you will see it is suspended and then here I will drop the task okay so here it is dropped even I can basically delete this particular SNS uh, topic as a cleanup activity and in the subscription also I can delete this particular one okay right so maybe you can delete the policies and roles whatever you created that also so this particular all the sql queries whatever i have executed all this will be there in the description box you can play with that i will share the documentation link also where you can explore more detail about this particular feature of snowflake so if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you